long. Hey, bro. What's your name again? Yes. Huh? Yes. Okay. I pray you was edified because the officer brought out a lot of good points. So now give me do the run with 10 and 12. So now you know you're an Israelite. Now you know God chose you to be a special people above all nations. That's right. To itself. God have a special people. God have a, a job for you now, Reed. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12. Uh -huh. Hello. And now Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh-huh. But to fear the Lord thy God. How do you fear the most high God? I'm asking you a question. How? Yes, sir. How? How do you fear God? Because a lot of people are talking about, I don't want to fear God because, you know, he's my friend. But the Bible says you must fear him. Do you know? Because the Bible has its own definition of fear. Uh -huh. Give me um, Proverbs 1 and 7. Let's start right there. Because the definition of fear is very, very um, simple. The Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7. Uh -huh. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So now you know you're an Israelite. Now you know it's things that require of you. Read on. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. So the fear of God is wisdom and instruction. You take the heed to that. So jump back to Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. Yeah, yeah. You know what fear is now? Obedience to God's laws, the statutes. Read. And now Israel. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh huh. But to fear the Lord thy God. Being obedient, being, being in subjection to everything that he said, read. To walk in all his ways. Uh huh. And to love him. Uh huh. And to serve the Lord thy God. So how do you love God? Exactly. I'm gonna get the definition. Because everything you just said, I can I can back it up from the Bible. Right. right. You was on point. But you see. This little thing, everything always go back to the laws. Have you seen the pattern yet? The whole Bible is redundant. It say the same thing with different words. But it will always go back to the laws. You got it. The book of First John, chapter five, verse three. This is how we love God. For this is the love of God that we keep His commandments. You see that, brothers? To love God is to keep His commandments. The brothers in the blue shirt. To love God is to keep his commandments. Right. Our people haven't been loving God as they thought. And his commandments are not grievous. Hey, him. I still got a, another thing. I still got another law for you, bro. I'm not finished with you yet. I still have another law. Give me... Go back to Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Bring it up. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12. Uh -huh. And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh -huh. But to fear the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to walk in all his ways, uh -huh. and to love him, uh -huh. and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. So th that's our duty on this earth. So you know what today is? Today is Saturday, but according to the Bible, today is the Sabbath day. That's the reason why we are here today. Today right. is God's Sabbath day. Give me that. You got it? The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Uh -huh. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Uh -huh. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And Friday, you can work, you can you can get that overtime, you can get that money. But what? But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Uh-huh. In it thou shalt not do any work. So in the Sabbath day, tell your job, hey, I can't be working on this day. It's because of my belief. I gotta keep God's laws. Read. Right? Thou shalt not do any work. Uh -huh. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, uh -huh. nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. So according to the Bible, on the seventh day, we don't supposed to do no work. We don't supposed to buy or sell. Right, right. We don't supposed to be twerking. We don't supposed to be prostituting our daughters. Give me that in Leviticus 19. Yes, sir. Show me the Bible. So, you want to know, according to the Bible, do you see yourself on this side? 
Where you at on the shot? Because according to the Bible, there's no African American, there's no Mexican from the tribe of Gad, which any? Where you at? Point. Is your dad? Oh, your dad? Okay. Okay, now give me that in um, Deuteronomy 10 and 12 again. Because you're an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. Right. From the tribe of Benjamin. Yeah. This is what the Most High call you. This is what your, our slaves have to call us. But the Most High call you Benjamin. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12. Uh huh. And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? So now you know you're in Israel, so now it's some requirements for you. We can't just be Israel, knowing we Israelites and just smoke weed, smoke blood, commit sins, hanging out with brothers and sisters. It's a requirement, read. Right? But to fear the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to walk in all his ways, uh -huh. and to love him, uh -huh. and to serve the Lord thy God uh -huh. with all thy heart and with all thy soul, uh -huh. to keep the commandments of the Lord. So, that's our requirement, is to keep God's commandments and to go out there and teach our people and to bring them in. Right. Let me give you one fact. Give me Leviticus 19, 17. So now you know you an Israelite. It's a law that every man must do. Everybody, every Israelite must do because this is love. We out here showing our people love. So I'm about to show you love right now, Rick. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Uh -huh. Hello. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. The Bible says it's a law. I should not hate you. Read on. And, and it's going to tell you what hate is. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. The word rebuke me to correct. So if I see my neighbor, I must correct him because I love him. If you have a son or a daughter and you see them doing something bad or dangerous, you're going to whoop that butt. You're going to correct them. That's what our brothers, if we do that law alone, there'll be no black on black bodies. There'll be no crime on our streets. Right. If we do that one law, right. it's teaching our brothers. Our old man has felt us. They used to do that. They used to be on the street and say, young man, put your hands up. You look like a criminal. You look like a punk. We don't do that no more. Our men are timid now. That's why we're on the street. Right. right. And not suffer sin upon it. So we can't suffer sin. We can't allow you to be in sin without telling you your sin is. What? That's called hatred according to the Bible. Bring it up. You know what I'm saying? Now give me Numbers chapter 15 verse 38. Because this is a commandment because I see it on your shirt. You don't have it. Because I love you and I, I must show you your sins so you can go home and change it. Or fix it. Read. The book of Numbers chapter 15 verse 38. Uh -huh. oh. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make the fringes in the borders of their garments. So, so what you see on this brother's shirt is called fringes. You know? That they make the fringes in the borders of their garments uh -huh. throughout their generations. So forever, as long as you keep having kids, keep having kids, as long as we on this earth, we must keep this law. We must have fringes on the borders of our garments. That's what you see on every brother's shirt right now. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. What's your name? Johnny. John? Uh, Johnny. Johnny. My name is it's Azar. So what you see, John, he have a ribbon, a ribbon of blue. Read. It could be any blue. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So, so like every time you have fringes, you must look upon it to remember all the commandments of the Most High God. Now they will see the true men of God. We are not black men, we are the Israelites.
say that I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's our man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.